Okay, ready, go. Okay, ready, go. Go. All right, so let's take a look at here. So during the back swing, you tend to lean away. And then in the down swing, you tend to pull this in and then hit the ball here. Okay. Instead of uh, mainly turning around the axis. Yeah, so uh, essentially it's a uh, arm action. Pulling in and then try to hit the ball here. And because of that, upper body kind of sways. So in the back swing, your upper body is here. But in the, at the end of down swing, your upper body is here. And then down the line view. So the hands are going a bit lower, mm -hmm. and then the club is uh, stiffer. Yeah, the hand position is uh, low here. Your club is uh, crossing over slightly, mm -hmm. and then the, the club is aligned uh, more upright than the arm here. So with this, so you keep the hands a bit low here from here, try to drag the arms here and then try to hit the ball like this. That's why the upper body is uh, swaying that way. So instead of um, turn good here and then let it go, you try to keep the hands a bit lower here and with that try to hit the ball like this. So it's fairly uh, upper body driven swing. Yeah, so you have a sort of early shift that way, but that shift is not coming from good continuous shift and then throwing the arms, rather here with the hands at low, your upper body is responding early and then try to pull it. Um, so in this case, I think uh, let's, let's go directly to uh, the step drills. Sure, which one do yeah. you want to do? Let's use uh, stage one. Since we are directly using uh, step drills, we can go uh, from stage one. So with the feet together, have a good trigger motion, throw this way. And the whole purpose of this trigger is to develop good backswing, active backswing. So more than anything, you have to turn your body about the spine axis. The spine axis can move slightly, but if the top part is going that way, and also in the downswing, if you're going this way, then it's called a sway, but actually go exactly opposite way. So here, from here, when your axis should move this way, yeah, here's the axis here. When the axis has, has to move this way, move the pelvis a bit more, and then the upper part is moving less, then you will have slight uh, reverse pivot posture here. And on the way down, the same thing, going this way here. So the pelvis is moving more, but your upper body is leaning this way. So imagine this uh, triangular space or mm -hmm. cone-shaped uh, space here, and then your upper body is not moving as much. Your lower is body this, is moving. Is this what you, well, that's what you want. No, no. This is a, oh, let's, uh, let's try to uh, mm -hmm. work on the posture a, bit, a little bit, and sure. then okay. we'll uh, move on to the step drill. So again, uh, fold the arms here. Mm -hmm. So let's do this in uh, uh, step by step. So from here, just the try to shift to the right. Then uh, your right hip is over the right foot, right? So from here, try to turn around the right hip joint here. Now this is really good posture. So essentially your upper, upper body, your shoulders are not moving that much. Mm -hmm. And then your pelvis is more moving this way. Right. Then you will feel tension. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and then what I'll do is I will take a picture of that posture, just a second, and I'll show you what it is like. Photo mode here, and then... Okay, look at this. So you have good pelvis shift this mm -hmm. way. 
then upper body will just uh, maintain fairly upright posture. In, in your field, you are leaning like by a mile right. this way, but actually it's almost upright here. Yeah. You stay in it built that, that, that sensation, but you stay in station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How far, if I were to put something here when I practice, how far would Z, I keep So imagine practice? you have a wall here. How, how, far is that, how far is that wall from, from here? So just to, you know, imagine that you, the, the wall is starting I've here. I've got a device that I can put. Yeah, yeah. So you go just Two the, inches? One inch? No, just, the, just the imagine this is a vertical plane starting from the, uh, the outer part of uh, your foot. And go here and then turn. But this is a static posture, so you can actually go more. But in a dynamic situation, when you continue, continuously move, then pelvis will go less because your legs will control this motion back and forth. So you don't have to worry about going too far, okay? Now, this is static posture, so we can go certainly a lot more. Mm -hmm. But in a dynamic situation, the legs will automatically confine this. Now, do the same thing on this side here. So then I would actually Yes. And then, and then just to turn around here. Then now you're standing on the left side here. Okay? And then your upper body will be leaning backwards slightly. So basically what happens is, um, again, go to this side. So imagine there's a wall here, and then you are putting your chest against the wall like this. Okay. okay? And then this way the same. So I want to put my hips against the wall. Mm -hmm. And then turn, the yes. Yep. And then I want to fall into the wall. And then turn around. Turn around the axis. Yeah, like Is that this. It? Mm. So then uh, your shift will be done early enough. The backswing, backswing shift is. So go here, shift first, and then turn, mm -hmm. and then shift, and then turn here. So in the downswing, when you turn, you don't have to uh, worry about dragging this and then moving this because the shift is done already kick the ground with the left leg, it just a turn around. I've, I've, had, I've felt that sensation with the, with the irons, when I, did, but I haven't with the woods yet, but I, but I have with the irons that I felt that, that what I did is I took it back. When the club is here, should the weight be equal? Uh, it depends. It's hard to judge it just from the posture. But, it, but it, anyway, so it, what I did is I, I started from right here, and when I went up, I, and then I went, I put it like that. Yeah, the part of the reason uh, is that, that the irons are shorter, mm -hmm. so it's uh, easier to uh, right. have that kind of uh, feel. But the driver is the longest. That's why I always uh, you know, work with the driver swing. If you establish good pattern with the driver swing, oh, then that can be transferred to iron swing. But if you just work on the iron, it's hard to uh, transfer it to a driver swing. But again, so come back to uh, this position and then fold your arms. Again, shift, shift to the right, yeah, and then turn around. Yeah, try to turn more about the right hip, hip joint here. Okay. Turn the hips more? No, no, no. When you turn, mm -hmm. imagine that your axis is right here. So Move more this way? No, no. The axis should be there, but when you turn, try to turn around the hip joint here. Okay? Yeah, and then shift to left, shift to slight left, and then turn around. And then uh, in the downstream, you, you tend to extend your body or s stand up. Mm -hmm. So in the backswing, you are maintaining this axis here. But in the downstream, you tend to stand up here, but try to keep the axis still inclined. Stay in posture more. And then uh, only you need to uh, you, uh, maintain the thorax axis. The abdomen and pelvis will extend. It's natural. In order to push the ground hard and try to swing, your pelvis and the abdomen will extend, but just to maintain the thorax axis and let it go here. So if you stand, stand up, maintain more upright overall uh, trunk posture, then what happens is you're dragging like this with this. But if you maintain this, then you throw the arms. So again, fold the arms, shift the right, turn around the right hip joint, and then shift the left, and then turn around, and then try to maintain the thorax axis at a level here. 
Yeah, that's better. So, so now, yeah. Now this is a kind of a quasi-static, so it's hard to maintain that position. But when you have a dynamic motion, it's a bit easier. Yeah, the muscles will uh, contract more in natural way. Now, so with that, you need to feel that posture, okay? Now, let's do uh, stage one. So have a good trigger motion, and then bring it back, and the downswing. Mm -hmm. Again. And then, so when you do that, when you turn, mainly it's a shoulder turn here. Instead of using the arms here, try to turn with the shoulder. When, the, when you have enough shoulder turn here, then the arms are already here. So just to add a little bit more arm motion, then that's it. Uh, and then I see two, two things here. On the way down, you are bringing the club like this. You have a rigid wrist here. Try to use the wrist this way here. So try to maintain the motion along uh, the so-called swing plane. Okay? So instead of go up here and then bring the club this way, then you're locking your wrist and then bring this way. Instead, go up here and then try to bring it this way and then use the wrist motion here. And then secondly, your, your hands are still too long and then you try to use the arms so you have more crossover, but you have to feel the motion of the club. So again, relax your wrist. Eventually you have to, uh, instead of completely relaxing your wrist, you have to use the uh, uh, wrist more actively. But um, this motion, pronation, supination of the forearm, and then a little bit of uh, radial deviation in the wrist. If you mix these two, then you can have a good wrist motion here going this way here. No need to go this far down. This is called the ulna deviation. But that's from the neutral position to a more radially uh, deviated position here. So from here to here, and then this motion. If you mix these, go here. On the way down, try to come down this way here. So guide it along the swing plane instead of coming down like this. Then you're forcing the club to move using the wrist and the arms. So coming down this way, and then give nice wrist motion here. Okay, instead of try to go down like this. Remember, in the backswing, what we wanna have is a good pelvis shift, and then just the turn around the axis. Then if the arms go here, it's hard. Try to bring the arms here, up here. So if you do the short, the, the, the thorax turn, uh, with the slight uh, reverse pivot feel, then you can easily bring the hands up here, okay? But if your upper body leans this way, mm -hmm. it goes down here. You go to this position. So again, just to try to feel the motion of the club. No need to swing hard, but uh, as you swing back and forth. Stage one. So easy wrist, uh, try to use the wrist more actively. Again. Again. So it's a fairly arm driven currently. You are taking the steps, but these are not really helping the, so try to turn the shoulders when you, when you bring the club back, more than anything, try to turn the shoulders. It's not the arm motion. Yeah, so everything starts from the trigger. Now, from the setup position, go to the trigger position here. So you have to turn the pelvis and the shoulder good here. But, but what you are doing is that you have a less shoulder turn and then you're, okay, so you're using your arm like this. So we want, on here when I'm practicing Go this, more. we want this at, this at 90 degrees and the hips want to be? About 45 degree turn okay. here. And then, and then also try to maintain more this posture here. Okay, close to us. So I want to maintain the same 
part. Yes, yes, just to turn around the axis. Instead of leaning this way, or instead of using the arms. No, no. in order to maintain your uh, gaze, mm -hmm. you are limiting the shoulder turn here. So you have to turn your face that way about 45 degrees. No, not that much. Maybe going that way, mm -hmm. but using the peripheral vision, you can still keep the gaze on the ball. Yeah, this way you will be able to let the body turn more. From here, using the shoulder turn, bring this back here instead of using your arms. You mm -hmm. have a really <laughs> strong <laughs> upper body, rigid upper body. Now I can tell what you said just then. I mean, it was. Hmm. Club was wanting to go up. So here, turn. Everything has to come from this body turn instead of. Uh, see, I'm, and I, I know you won't repeat it, but see, that's what Tony was teaching: was right yeah. hand, and that's that's what he teaches: is right hand, and then hit with no, the right no, hand. No. <laughs> so when you have a right right hand dominant swing, then. Uh, Always you have bias, and then you are t actually currently you are turning this way quite a bit because you have to use your right arm here. Mm -hmm. But if you use the left arm and then throw, just to slow down and nicely uh, finish this position here. But if you have to use your right arm a lot, then you tend to turn this way quite a bit while keeping the hands down here. <laughs> so the motion is not that sym uh, symmetric. I knew, I mean, <laughs> Tony helped me a lot. But I was still swinging the club the same speed with my feet together as I was with a regular swing. I said, something's not right. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. so mainly these are coming from the body turn here. Mm -hmm. So in order to turn the body, you have to turn the pelvis about 45 degrees, let's say. Then shoulder will turn a bit more. Okay? It has to come from this motion and also body turn here instead of on the, on the back swing, I want to focus on the, the thorax. Turn, yeah. Turn it. Yeah. Throwing the club up. Yeah, so let, let the club go, and then it will automatically go here. No need to bring it with the right arm here. So you need more than anything, you have to feel the motion of the club. Okay? And also, you have the tendency in your setup position, mm -hmm. you are going here, you tend to anchor these el uh, elbows here, and then try to lift. Like this. This already tells me that you are going to use your arms a lot because it's anchored here. But try to keep the arms straight down. It's not anchored here. And then try to use the wrist nicely. More like that? Yeah, like that. And then if you use the arms and wrist. No resistance. <laughs> it's really, really rigid. So if you let it go, then by just uh, turning the shoulders, you already have this much motion. And add a little bit of arm motion, you will go to this position here, right? And then the same thing, when you are uh, trigger, so going this way, nicely uh, keep this pronation of the right uh, forearm here, that this is good position here. Okay. I'm just and then, to memorize what this yeah, and then your shoulders are turned this way, yeah, and as, as you that's start, not, that, that's not far enough. We want a ninety, right? You can you can have a more. But we want the shoulders ninety here. Yeah, yeah, you can go a bit more. Now from here, when you start the back swing, turn the shoulders and bring this automatically. It will go all the way here. Then slight arm motion and go to this position here, instead of using the whole arm, try to lift it up. Mm -hmm. or going to this position. So again, uh, let's do this. Let's have a continuous swing back and forth. Uh, assume your regular stance, yeah, regular stance, and then just a swing back and forth continuously. And then relax, relax your wrist and arms. On the way down, still, on the way down, still, the, the wrists are going this way, but try to, try to maintain the motion on the swing plane here, instead of going like this. So imagine a plane, okay, the swing plane, and then try to move the, make, make sure that the club head is moving along the, the same plane. Now, in the back swing, what happens is that your club head is passing about here, okay, going out first and then 
going more inward here. On the way down, the club is passing about here. But on the way back, the club, is, the club head is passing about here. So you have to match even the backswing plane. So let's, uh, let's do this. So imagine you, the ball is here, right? Basically, you want to move the club head this way here. But if you just uh, go up here and then try to swing this way, always the club head goes high and then flat like this. And then let it come down here. So if you use only when you nicely use the wrist here, then you will be able to bring the club head around here. So your absolute goal right now is, even during the backswing, you want to move the club head along this line here, not high up here. So pay attention to the club head motion. So the club head motion is the key, and that you have to adjust your body motion to secure the end outcome. The arms are better there. Yeah, definitely better. So your arms are just uh, coming down here. Mm -hmm. So that's the plane you need to follow, right? Now increase the magnitude of the swing. Bring the hands higher in the back swing. Bring the hands higher again. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah, even with the, just the, this exercise, your motion, the clivet motion is a lot more consistent. I think that's going to help immensely, just mm. getting those arms in the right position. So initially, just uh, guide the club head along the plane here about this much. Then gradually increase the size and then maintain this motion, then let it go up here. Let's see how far you can go. With this way, you have less crossover. Initially, as far as like doing some practice, hitting balls into a net, would it be a good idea? Yep. To go to here and then to here? Yeah. Yeah, always uh, guide the club head and then you want to have good Good idea of where the swing plane is. Okay. Again, swing back and forth. Then what speed would you want this at? Uh, currently, what you just did is good. No need to swing hard. No, just, uh, just about like 45 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour or something. <laughs> so just uh, relax your, your wrist or the, use the wrist more actively. So use the wrist motion. And then try to increase. Uh, initially, smaller motion, but then eventually start uh, increasing the magnitude and then see how far you can go in the back swing. <laughs> you have really stiff, rigid upper structure. Okay. I had to consciously tell myself to relax my hands. <laughs> you have really stiff, rigid. So let's see how you are moving your club at, uh, near the top here. The club is quite stiff. Right? The mm -hmm. shaft is quite steep. So here's one thing you need to understand. Mm -hmm. So let's say we have the swing plane about here. And then from here, uh, the recent video I posted uh, to my YouTube channel deals with the, the, the functional swing plane. Okay. But the, the functional swing plane is uh, basically calculated from the clip head trajectory from here to here. And then, so this is the swing plane, which generally passes through uh, the elbows here. So your club head is moving like this, but your hands are moving along a steeper plane, normally. Okay? 
So the, what happens is your club head remains on the plane, but if your hands are moving away from the swing plane, on the air, what happens is you have uh, this feel of uh, laying off the club. But if you have a strong wrist, and then just to try to bring this up with the, your wrist action here, then always the hands will stay closer to the swing plane. The club head is moving quite away from the swing plane, right? right. <laughs> so in order to change this, what should happen is, let the club head go that way, and you have to lift your hands a little bit higher up here. So you, have, uh, you should have this kind of feel here. So for you, you should feel like your hands are way above than the club head. Then when that happens, actually the club head will stay here. Your, your hands will stay slightly over the, uh, the shell, uh, shoulders here. On the way down, the same thing. And then because uh, this is uh, laid off here, you can use the wrist motion here. Try to promote good club motion here. And then the same thing. In the back swing, your hands are moving up and then let the club head go. So you, your hands will uh, move away from the swing plane more. Mm -hmm. So you need to have this kind of feeling. Going this way, here, here. So the hands should go higher than you uh, like. And then the club head will stay below instead of Hands stay low and then club head goes high. When the club head stays quite away from the swing plane, you have to do something. You have to do uh, some sort of uh, compensation motion. But uh, when the club generally stays fairly close to the swing plane, your hands are higher, it's easy. Because you just drop the club, the, the hands, then you are going into uh, the swing plane, right? So s the hands stay a bit higher, but on the way down by bringing the hands down, and then let it go. So this is actually easier to, uh, for you to use the wrist here because the wrist is going this way. So you have a good supinated forearm and then let it go. Holy wrist. <laughs> so try to drop the clip a, a bit. So to make it simple, go as you go along the back swing, try to move the hands a bit higher and then drop the clip it. And then, so you have to you have to mobilize your wrist. You have to mobilize your wrist. Uh, so let me guide you. Okay. So let's go back to let's go back to uh, playing. So from here, mm -hmm. the club head will keep moving this way. More going in this position here. Relax, relax. You're putting a lot of effort here. Your face turns red. That means you're putting a lot of effort. So again, so on the way down, it will come down this way, and then you will be able to use your wrist and then let it go. This way. Okay? So. If I work diligently and get at this, what, what are we looking at as far as increasing miles an hour? Uh, don't, don't worry about the speed at the moment. When, when your body moves properly, then you start to swing harder without breaking the moving pattern. So when that happens, then you will get a lot of speed. Currently, what's your head speed? What is it now? 102, 104? Mm. Yeah. For uh, serious amateurs, um, we can easily reach 110. Okay. But here, so now you have to use the wrist here. So you have to let the club head go down a little bit. If you keep the wrist tight here, and go to this position, on the way down, you have to also hit the ball with the arms here. There's no reason, the, there's no way to use your body when you have really tight arms here. So almost like in your, in your field, as you go up, try to flip, try to flip the, the hands. Try to do what? Go here, as you go up, flip it. Yeah, this way. See how far you can go. So I'll give you a sort of a guide here. Um, so from there, let's say bring the, bring the club head about this high here. Come, yeah, the club head here. 
and then keep moving. So now, give me a, a, a clip it here. Clip it here. Take it there. Yeah. And then bring your hands higher. No, 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 not, not lifting. The clip head, oh, the clip head is going this way here. Let's go this way. Oh, you want it more in? Yeah. Okay. So on the way, on the way back, on the way back, instead of lifting the clip head, let cock, the cock the wrist. Yeah, let the clip head go, and then bring the hands a bit higher here. Nope, it's too uh, too steep. Again, back. You can have uh, you can have the right arm slightly going outward. It's okay. So the bottom line is uh, you have to feel you have to feel the motion of the club instead of forcing it with your arms. Okay, relax your, your relax your wrist so that you can feel the motion of the club. Imagine you, when you drive, when you drive, mm -hmm. when you have curve here, then you don't really calculate uh, you know you know, the curvature of the curve and things, and then try to uh, adjust the, the steering wheel. Rather, with the visual, uh, you know, input, you will just uh, make the turn, and then you're just, uh, the, the car is moving as if uh, it is a part of your body, mm -hmm. the same thing. You have to drive the club as if it is a part of your body. That means you have to maintain the sensory input here. You have to know where the club head is. Unless you feel where the club head is, then you cannot make the, changes, right? So again, as you swing back and forth, try to let the club head go more this way, using the momentum of the club head, and then move your hands a bit higher. So let the club head go, the club, and then... Let the club head go more behind me with higher hands. <laughs> and then swing back and forth, make it continuous, and then just go easy with the, your wrist so that uh, you can really feel the motion of the club head. Maintain the clip head motion, and then if you have to move, then it's, it's gotta be your hands, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's good. Like that. And then go a bit more, okay? Yeah, that posture is good. So now, swing back and forth uh, with the uh, faster motion. Faster motion, and then try to go to that posture, uh, that posture at the top. Yep. And then make the clip head go down a bit more. So passing the, uh, the horizontal alignment. Mm -hmm. uh, do not stop. And now here's the problem. So while you're paying attention to this, this is okay, but you are making it a lot more difficult because of your low body posture here. Remember, we want to go to this position here. If you go to this position, it's easy to keep the hands here, but you're here. That's why it's hard to bring it. I'm not doing enough. Again, so you shift the pelvis first, and then turn around the right hip, right hip, and then, no, uh, extend the right leg more. Do not bend too much here. You, you, in order to push the ground with the right leg, you have to extend the, your right leg. Then it's the easy to go to this position and then to maintain it here. Okay? But if the right knee flexes, then uh, it will, you're going to this position here. It's uh, hard to go to this position, reverse pivot posture. You have to push the ground with the right leg. So the right hip has to move so load this up. up. So shift and then move the right hip up. And then go to this reverse. Relax, relax your body. No, no need to uh, put a lot of effort here. Just uh, move the pelvis and then in this position. Uh, still, uh, no, the pelvis is moving backward too much. Try to stand on the right side. Uh -huh. Tap, 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 tap with the... Left the toe. Yeah, in order to do that, you have to have a good amount of uh, weight on this side. Again, so with that, try to stand tall over the right 
right foot. At, at the top, go to the shift. No, you're, you're sitting down here. Okay. Here. Shift here and then push this side up. So you, you should have a good knee extension here. It's not put, you know, completely extended here. But you have to bring the right hip up and then stand on the right side here. In the static posture, it's okay to have the hip outside the, the foot, okay? In the static posture. In the dynamic posture, you automatically bring this more inward. So uh, this is okay. Feel this here. You have to really stand tall over the right side here. Again. So make it uh, continue, swing back and forth. But don't be afraid of shifting your pelvis. Yeah, even here, use the wrist. Even here, instead of just using the whole arm, keep a little bit wrist motion back and forth. Yes, yes. That way you'll be, be able to feel the motion of the clip head better. The clip head is still too high. Your hands are too low. Go to this position. No, no, not just there. In order to go to the end the position, the process should be right. But you don't allow your hands to go up here, always going this way. And then finally try to go to this position. Mm -hmm. That doesn't work. During the process, you already have to bring the hands up here and then bring the club head down and then continue to this position here. Then it'll be smooth motion here but you try to still go this way and then try to go, go to this position quickly. So even in the process, mm -hmm. you have to move the hands a bit higher and let the club head follow the path instead of forcing the club head to move away from the swing plane. Lift the hands higher, lift the hands higher. Higher, the hands higher both ways. The, your hands should be higher. Hands should be higher, higher here. Okay. So, uh, just a second. So, go here. Go, bring, bring this back here. Go here. Go to this position instead okay. of here. Okay. Okay. So, you want my left arm parallel like that? Mm. Then keep, keep going here, yeah, keep going here, then you will be here. So that's why you have to pay attention to the club motion. If you let the club keep moving and then adjust to your arm motion, then you will be able to go to this posture, but you are forcing the club to move with your arms. That's why it's hard to reach that position. And then also losing the momentum of the club, let it go here, no need to Go that uh, rigid here. Yeah, when you go easy, it's easy to go to this position or this position here. Again. So swing back and forth. Try to feel that. Yes, that path is a lot better. Now, this is perfect. This is perfect, however, this is not. So let's go to the end of the, uh, end of the downswing. And end of the downstream. Stop, stop, stop there, stop there. And then go turn here. From here, from here, when you start, you have to guide it this way here. So your hand should be higher. And then let it come down this way so that it passes through this point. And then let it go this way here. But what happens is on the way down, you're, you're bringing it down like this, and then try to do this here. So here, bring the club head along the swing plane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then use, use your wrist more actively. 
Uh, on the way down, now, now you're missing, on the way down, you're missing the, the, the tip of the T. On the way down, also try to pass that point. Relax your arms and, the, and then rest completely. Just the guide the club head along that path. All right, that motion is a lot better, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, now as you do that, your goal in the backswing is to bring the club to the horizontal alignment, or even a bit more. Okay, current is uh, too short, so make uh, the backswing bigger. And then for that, you have to move your body. And then if you go to this uh, reverse pivot posture, make sure that this side is kind of straight here. So this is almost a K, K shape here. And then this side is reverse K. Yeah, more like this, turning around the axis. And then currently your right knee is uh, flexed too much. Yeah, bring the right hip, right hip up and then maintain this posture here. That this is what I want, okay? So that leg is just, it, it is almost straight. Yeah. Without using the legs, there's no way to interact with the ground. This is correct here, Dr. Yeah, Kwan? yeah, yeah. That's a lot better. That's what I've been yeah. doing is that. Yeah. So you always try to keep this uh, flexed here and then the hands uh, stay uh, low here because uh, you have a really rigid body here. So basically, in the motion, during the motion, you are using the muscles at right time. Okay? Mm -hmm. You are not contracting the muscle all the time then it will simply make the body really rigid. So you have to know at what point we have to fire the muscles. Mm -hmm. Then that's why we, have, we want to develop this rhythmic motion here. With the rhythmic motion, your muscles are only firing at the right time, mm -hmm. okay? So develop, when you swing back and forth, develop the sense of uh, rhythm here. Let it go here and then start this, and then let it go here and then start. So feel the rhythm again. Relax your body. You are just uh, making your body too uh, rigid. Again, swing back and forth. Relax and then try to move your, your pelvis laterally more. No, 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 no. You went back to the, your, 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 your hands are down here. Again, on the way, relax your wrist. You have to use your, your wrist more actively. Otherwise, you will not be able to go to this part. Yes. And then do the same thing during the back swing. Yes. You have to use your wrist. Okay. Now, swing back and forth. Drop the, the, the curly head more. Drop the curly head more in the, at the top of back swing. No, drop it more. Yes. So you have to intentionally uh, try that and then drop the clip at the more this side. Okay. Let's use the orange rib here. So hold the butt here, okay. not the end, okay? Swing back and forth. Because this is, uh, the tip is heavier, so you will be able to feel the motion of the tip better. Move the, move the lower body more actively. You are using just the arms currently. Try to bring the, turn your shoulder, turn your shoulders more actively. No, it's arm motion. It's uh, this all arm driven motion. Turn, turn the, that's why it's uh, so hard because you're using the muscles here. If you turn the shoulders using the legs, have the image of just the rolling about the axis here. And that this roll is not coming from this action here. If you just fold it here, then arms cannot be used. Then this roll has to come from the Leg actions here. Using the leg actions, you have to roll, right? Again, fold your arms and then turn back and forth. 
try to roll about the spine axis both ways. Keep, keep, keep turning, keep turning both ways. Make it continuous. Mm -hmm. Hey, you're turning, you're turning with these muscles. Here, keep these uh, tight as one unit. Do not use these muscles here. Just to try, just to use the. Now you are intentionally turning this. Do not use these muscles. It's only use this. Stay, stay here. No, here. No, no, no. Because this is, uh, you know, the whole body, the one part here. When you turn this, then should return with it. Okay? And then turn, turn the pelvis, turn the pelvis, turn the pelvis, turn the pelvis. No, no, no need to uh, relax here, okay? Just to do this. When you use the lower body, just to turn, turn, it's okay just to turn the whole thing as one unit, okay? But pay attention to uh, these, these muscles, the these muscles. Don't, don't actively turn the upper body. Yeah, turn do not use these. The relax here completely. And then use the legs and then turn about the axis. Do not use these, even uh, do not contract these muscles. Relax completely. No, 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 you are intentionally trying try to create uh, this strange motion. Just relax here, okay? Just, so uh, let me guide you. Relax here. If your body turns here, oh uh, no, you are turn, intentionally turning the, the, the shoulders. Mm -hmm. When the pelvis turns, the shoulder will turn with it, only that much. Do not try to turn more or less, okay? So if your pelvis turns, you see, you go to this position. Uh, no, no, no. Do not, act, do not activate these muscles. So you're here. And then now when you turn the pelvis here, the shoulder turns with it. Here. So just use your legs to promote this motion here. Do not resist, but use your legs actively and then promote this motion. So here, so work with me. No, you, you, you will f follow me. So you are working with me. Okay, ready? Good. So let's start from the left side. Turn the left to here, and then here, and here, and here. Now, as you do, try to move as much as you can. Relax, relax, relax these. You're, again, you're only using the leg muscles at the right timing, not holding all the time here, okay? So this one, this one will be relaxed now. So try to move this, much, uh, this way as much as possible, as far as you can, as far as you can here. So still, you're, you're flexing your knees too much. <laughs> so this, no, it's an easy, motion back uh, here. Again, just go through here a lot. So keep the leg straight. Keep the leg straight. Okay, just to keep the straight here and then go to this position here. This way. Come this way. No, no, no. Do not try to in intentionally do anything. Okay. Just to simply move the body here. This much here. Relax, relax. No need, there's no reason to work. Uh, here, just relax, okay? It's just a matter of posture here. Go here. Oh, no, relax. No, 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 relax. So again, I don't understand why you are contracting the muscle that much. So go to this position here. Go to this way, this way. Keep, lift the, lift the heel. No, you have to make a shift more. Watch me, watch me, watch me here. Go to this position here. Move the pelvis as much as possible. Go more. No, lift your, extend your knee completely. Yeah. Go this, this way. Now your leg is completely uh, straightened, right? Mm -hmm. Here. So let's have about 45 degree turn here. Let's go to the opposite position here. 
more, more, so that you can keep the, the leg straight, straight, all the way here, okay? And then about 45 degree turn, go to this position here. Relax, no need to uh, contract the muscles. It's just using the, the leg muscles, go to this position here. Relax these, okay? Just, uh, just hold it here and go to this position. No, 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 your knees are, f uh, knees are flexed here. Knees bent straight, keep it straight. Keep it straight. So you go. Want, you want both straight? Yeah, go as much as you can. So that uh, you have most of the weight on this side, okay? Now, let's go to the left side. Stand on the left, left leg, go as much as you can. Just uh, lean forward. And then the relax here, relax here. Only we are just adjusting the pelvis posture here. We'll go all the way here. Now go to the right. All the way, all the way, no resistance. All the way here. And then left. What? Relax, relax. <laughs> I'm trying to. <laughs> Whatever. This is, this is decades. No, no. I can see that you are. <laughs> It's decades. <laughs> your blood vessels are sticking out. That means that you're putting a lot of effort here. <laughs> it's a, no, it's, it's this motion here. Here, here, here. It's this motion. I'm doing my best to do what you're trying to so say. So here. So let's, let's do this. Now uh, let's uh, uh, keep a more upright posture here. Watch me. Upright posture. Just to go to this position. Relax here. You're not doing anything. Just uh, turning the pelvis and then move the pelvis as much as possible this way. So that now I completely keep the, my knee uh, extended. My right arm is also quite straight here. And then go to this position here. Stand on the right side here. Go here. Let's do it here. So keep the body straight, straight up, upright. Now upright, upright, yep, easy. So because uh, you're up, uh, in the upright posture, there's no reason to uh, Contract the muscles that much. Right, so we're going to go 45. Here. No, no, no. Do not bend. Do not bend. You already started uh, holding it here. Just uh, go all the way as much. Go here, this way. No need to turn here. No, no. Do not turn this intentionally. Just, to sh sh just to relax it. These are passive here. Just to move the pelvis enough here. Okay? Oh, this is all you need. And then uh, try to uh, keep the left, uh, left leg more, uh, more straighter. So that means you can turn a bit more. Okay, from here, go to the left side, the same thing. All the way here. Relax, relax, relax. So the upper body is uh, passive, not contracting your muscles. So try to, uh, try to keep, again, the leg straighter. So you have to gently push. Push the ground like this, don't, don't not, push, not this way. Pushing off the ball of my foot. This, yeah, this yeah, way. yeah. Using the ball, gently push the ground so that. Oh, why are you as contracting the? Because I'm pushing. <laughs> so that push is a gentle push, just, uh, just this here. You don't have to contract Bal the muscles. More or less balancing then, mm. not. Here, feel my muscles here. Although my muscles are a lot smaller than yours, but. Uh, I don't contract the, the legs that much because I put most of the weight on the left side here. I'm supporting the whole body with the left, left leg here and the right leg here. And then when I repeat this, just this motion here. And then completely relaxed here. Move the pelvis back and forth. Or oh, even, even let the, the arms go down here. Here, completely relax. Make, make, it, uh, make it more upright, okay? So that you don't have to really move any, do anything with upright posture. Yeah, yes, yes. That way you can actually move the pelvis a lot more, right? Both ways. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes. Now, lean forward. Lean. Bend, bend over, bend over, bend over. Still here, wait, 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 here. relax your arms. Completely relax here. So your, your arms are just hanging here. 
Okay? And then do the same thing with the lower body. Mm -hmm. Then your arms will just move like this. So by just moving the lower body, you will be able to move the upper body, right? So now let's use the lower body more actively. Push the ground, push this side, push this, push, 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 push. Uh, this side is okay. This side is okay, but during the, during the back swing, mm -hmm. try to stand on the right side more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then relax, relax. Your, your arms are coming down late because you are, you're trying to use the arm muscles here. So let's do this with me. Swing. Relax your arms. So, so lean, lean this way more so that the arms are down here. S straighten your legs. E so it's so easy here. Instead of holding the muscle like this, squat and then holding the muscle. It's just a, yeah, relax here. And then bend over so that the arms are hanging in front of your body. Swing using the lower body. Move the pelvis a lot. No, instead of, instead of uh, using your arms, mm -hmm. instead of going like this, just uh, relax here. And then only you need to just uh, shift both ways. No need to worry about this motion, reverse pivot motion. Just to try to shift here, shift here, shift here, shift here, shift here. So let's move continuously. What do you think about a drill? <laughs> you tell, I'm, I'm just, no, I'm asking. no, no, no. <laughs> There's at home for yeah. as far as that, a station like that. That drill is good because, because I, I told you that the, you have an imaginary plane here. Mm -hmm. The bump to it, bump to it, bump to it, right? This is okay. But when you do this still, if you use the upper body, then this has no meaning. So the intention is good, but the question is whether you do it right. Again, relax here, and then try to, try to move the arms along this straight line here, okay? This line right so you're not going backward like this, okay. but try to more move this way and that way. Right. Yeah, yeah. And then that is coming from the lower body action, just the right to left. Swing, 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 swing. Keep the legs straighter. Swing, 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 swing. Yeah. When your pelvis moves enough, mm -hmm. that, that will already give you good uh, leg actions. So you don't have to keep it like this. Actually. Approximately how far is it with the driver? Is this going to move about two inches? I cannot put it in numbers. In this motion, try to move as much as possible. Okay? In this motion, as we relax and swing back and forth, try to have as much as possible. Now, here's one condition. One condition. Mm -hmm. As you shift, you have to really stand on that side. It's not about just making it moving far. Standing on it, whatever side I'm going, shift yeah, it to yeah. You really have to stand on that side. Then automatically it will limit the motion. Okay? It's not about moving this way, but rather standing on this side here, so that... So would it be shift, stand, and turn? No, no, no reason to worry about the turn at this point. Just the shift, stand, shift, shift, stand. shift, stand, shift, shift stand. stand, shift, stand, right. shift, stand, shift, mm. stand, shift, stand, shift, stand, shift, stand, shift, stand, shift, stand. Yes, shift stand. yes. That's uh, what I want in terms of the lower body motion. So it's as simple as just shift shifting down, shift and down. then pushing the ground, right? Instead of, <laughs> <laughs> I, I like uh, sort of uh, imitating you know, people. <laughs> yeah. you're again, good, you're good at it. again, again, <laughs> you're quite good at it. so here, that, that's actually a good cue. Uh, shift stand, shift to stand, or shift to push and shift to push. So shift to push, Shift to push. I'm shift to right? stand. That's yeah, shift to stand. Stand on this side, right? And then maintain this reasonably uh, straight. 
ship to stand, 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 ship to stand. Yeah, again. That works. So give me good ship to stand. And then relax your upper body as much as possible. And then as you move, mm -hmm. try not to bring the knee toward the other side here. Instead, just to keep it fairly straight here. Fairly straight here. Instead of going this way. Going this way and this way. This also uh, causes a timing issue. So simply all you need to worry about is pushing this side and stand on this side. Okay, forget about this. Stand on this side. If you have a good support, from that side, then this one does not bear that much weight, right? So just stand on this side, stand on this side, almost uh, slightly lift the, the foot up, stand on this side, stand on this side, again. Okay. No, that's intentional lift. Right, I'll just, I'll just get the feel. So when you have a good shift and then stand on the side, then yeah, yeah, your your body motion is now a lot better. Hmm. And then now make it continuous. The shift to stand, the shift to stand, the shift to stand. Uh, now you you started uh, flexing the knees because you, you started using the arms. When I said make it continuous, then you start using the, the upper body, and then you started to flex more. So still the motion should come from the leg action. It's a continuous motion, but the, the lower body is moving continuously, and then upper body will follow. Relax here, yeah, easy, 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 and then easy. Keep turn more, let it go. Keep turn more, let it go. Keep turn more, let it go. Keep turn here. So when you turn your shoulders more, then there's no reason to use the arms a lot. But only when you don't have enough shoulder turn that you start using the arms. So again, as, you, as we do the shift the turn, try to turn your shoulder more. Instead of using the arms, just to try to turn your shoulders more. Both ways, both ways. Mm -hmm. uh, more. Shoulder turn, more, more shoulder turn. Swing, swing. So in order to turn your shoulders more, that you also have to turn your pelvis more. As you shift back and forth and standing, shift to stand, shift to stand, active pelvis turn, yes. With that, you will have good shoulder turn. Then the arms will just follow. Swing. So lean forward more, lean. Lean forward more, and then bring the hands more along the vertical line here. Oh, wait, wait. Instead of bringing the hands up here, try to move the, the arms more this way here, along the vertical line here. This is, instead of going here, that you tend to... Uh, so keep the hands on yeah, the move the, move the hands along this line with the same idea. But try to turn your shoulders more, but move the hands along that line. Ah, it's going back quite a bit. No, the left hand is going quite a bit. <laughs> Try to move it this way. <laughs> okay. So turn the shoulder here and then move this way. Then your, your right shoulder has to go down. This is high here. And then coming this way. Imagine you're moving this way. You have to turn the shoulder. Now it's here. Instead of going back here. Okay. So when I turn here, it's still there. Yeah, so move, move the hands along the, this straight line. Try to move it along the straight line by using the lower body. So still, you will shift and stand. Now here, instead of going this, you give. The initial motion is driven by the lower body, but add a little bit of arm motion here. A little bit of arm motion added at the end. Added here, added here. Mm, 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 mm. When you can do this, then you can do anything, going this way, 
this way, this way, or more going this way, this way, this way. Go here and then coming in, go here and then coming in, or go in, come out, in and come out. The whole idea is using the low body action, you should be able to control all this. But currently, you're only forced to go to this position. You only know this one path. Once you master that, then you can start moving the ball in the direction you want to, correct? Mm -hmm. So the whole idea here is using the lower body actively, you will guide the upper body. But in terms of the hand motion, you should be able to generate what you want. So particularly when the hand goes high up here, it's easier to promote this motion, right? So move it a little slightly backward and then go to this position. Then you will have this motion, this motion, this motion here. But if you only go this way, the hand stays low, low, low here. So you should be able to bring the hands severely high up, okay, or slightly backward with that, way back. This all should be possible without using much effort in the upper body while the whole thing is driven by the lower body. Again, so try to bring the hands this way. So you will need to lift this, uh, the, the hands up, the up a little bit. So you have to add the arm motion at the end. So again, it's a shift stand, shift stand. That doesn't change. Swing, 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 swing. Uh, try to uh, extend your knees more when you stand, when you stand on it. Really stand on it. So you have to have good weight shift. Swing. Swing. <laughs> no, this is <laughs> whatever. This is supposed to be not that difficult, not that hard. Not you don't need a lot of muscular effort. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. Well, you've been taught incorrectly for so long. Yeah. So here. <laughs> so if without this, if just the shift to stand, the shift to stand, the shift to stand, it's a matter of shifting, and then using the legs to uh, work with the ground. But it, when you do this, then you are burning extra calories, okay, for no reason. If your goal is just to push, and then you will assume the posture which will allow you to do that, then push the ground, push the ground, stand up here, stand on this, stand on this side, stand on this side. This is all you need. And then add arm motion, easy arm motion. Intentionally, you will lift it slightly up, but you are not supposed to <laughs> use your muscles that much. This way, this way, you see, so from there, my hands are more moving this way here. And then I will bring it slightly inward here, inward, 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 severely inward, severely inward. But still I can do that by controlling the shoulder turn with the lower body action, right? So again, it's the each stand, shift the stand, shift the stand, Shift the stand, let's start from here. And particularly here, the legs should be relatively uh, straightened instead of. Yeah, this limits the upper body motion quite a bit. Particularly when you keep the knees flexed here, you cannot turn the shoulder that much because this posture here. But if you stand on this side, keep good shift, stand on this side, it's a lot easier to turn the shoulders. Yeah. But when you start to doing this, then certainly uh, shoulder turn is uh, limited. Yeah. Again, shift to stand, shift to stand. Easy shift to stand, shift to stand. Mm -hmm. Keep the hands together. Move here. Move here. Currently, this is what I, what I want. Well, this way here, okay? Yeah. Swing. This, oh no, it's going in too much. So uh, try to try to keep down here and then going up here. Down and up here, yeah. So here you have to keep it a bit cl close to your body. And then let it go this way, this way. That's where you want? Yeah. Uh, now you're using only upper body, so do the shift and stand. Shift to stand, shift to stand. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, that motion looks good. Give more shift, more shift. When you continue the motion, then automatically the legs will limit the, this motion, so you don't have to worry about it. Keep going, keep going. So let's see which muscle you are contracting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, still the, the legs are, you are going like this, but push, push, try to have a little bit of up and down feel. Push, stand up, push, stand up, push, stand up, stand up, yeah. Shift to stand up, shift to stand up, shift to stand up, shift to stand up. I can feel that I'm relaxing the trail leg. Now. And then push up, push the hip up, this up, this up here, up, 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 up. Yeah, with this action, you will have actually active shoulder turn automatically. Turn with the lower body action, turn the shoulders. Lower body action, turn here. Yeah. Well, I can feel it. <laughs> I can feel I mean, it's Yeah, really the, the push is the driving force of everything here. So when you, for example, in the back swing, when you push, this push will also give you turn motion. Push and turn. And the width, at the end of this push and turn, you will naturally have uh, shift this way. And the push and turn, and then going this way. Push and turn, going this way. Push and turn, this way. Push and turn, push and turn, push and turn. Push, turn. Push turn, push turn, push and you will be able to continue this motion. So it's really important to use your legs. Your muscles are really strong, but you're not using the muscles that way. More leg action, up, up, stand tall, stand tall over the supporting leg, swing. Remember, remember what I asked was uh, you keep the hands a bit closer here and then try to move the hands more this way. That means you have to sh move your shoulder more this way here. As you, the shoulders have to go more up and down. As you, yeah, as you shift and stand, shift and stand, the pelvis, uh, the, the shoulders has to more move on this plane here so that you can bring the hands up here. And then going here, okay? So particularly when you keep the shoulder plane here, it's easy to actually do this. In order to uh, turn, turn, you have to shift. So maintain the shoulder plane more upright. Swing, 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 swing. Easy, yeah, yeah, here, relax, relax, relax these, the arms here, just to keep it straight and then going this way, no need to uh, contract here, so let it go here, so remember this is uh, shoulder position, and then go here, and this shoulder position, you see, look at your lower body posture mm -hmm. here, this is straight, shifted quite well this way, maintain that shoulder posture and then Go to this side automatically in order to do this well, you have to shift to the right side. Here we go, right? So try to, if you can bring the arms more this way, then you can control everything. But if you have to go in, in, that means uh, you're still, uh, your low body action is not, is you know, Bring perfect. the hands more on that line and just so in order extend to, the legs yeah, at the right time. In order to move the arms this way, you have to keep more upright shoulder plane, then naturally, in order to sh turn the shoulder this way, you have to shift this way. Turn, you have to shift it this way. So again. So instead of going flat, try to uh, keep it more upright, turn here. So just to turn, turn the shoulders. Oh, whew, relax, 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 relax. relax. Relax the whole upper body. Relax, relax. Go this way, and then let's go to the left side. Turn more this way. Naturally, already uh, your pelvis is here, right? Go again. So here, yeah. Tr uh, try to have that kind of feel. So keep keep the shoulder plane more upright. Again, 
now swing swing it back and forth but also this should be easy because the momentum the whip will go no need to put a lot of effort all you need to pay attention is shift to stand the shift to stand and then with that you have shoulder turn and then let the let the whip go without intentionally doing anything good yes good shift and then follow follow the motion of the whip bring the you bring your hands a bit higher and then drop the club head a little bit more okay uh, bring uh, uh, let me hold it again so fold your arms fold your arms again let's do the shift the stand exercise no 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 the fold arms fold arms shift the stand shift the stand go ahead shift the stand no that's coming from your intentional shoulder turn wait 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 relax relax all you do is just uh, just uh, leaning forward here use the shift pelvis shift and then push the push this leg then your shoulder will turn automatically okay Left, go left shift, side. Turn, yeah. Shift, turn. turn automatically. This will turn. So no need to intentionally turn the shoulders with your muscles here. Turn, shift, turn, shift, turn, shift, turn, shift, turn, shift, turn. Use the leg actions to do this. Okay. Easy, easy turn, easy turn, easy turn. This is what you need. And then try to have a good shoulder turn. Okay. The key, the key in this flow is uh, how much shoulder turn you get. Have, you just have good shoulder turn. Uh, now your upper body is taking over. Use the low body, low body. Kick more, yeah, kick more that way. Both ways, both ways, that way also. Yes. Here, kick this way, kick here, here. Kick here, kick stand, push stand, push stand, push stand, push stand. Push stand. Still, still the, the leg is not pushing enough and then go here and you, you try to do this upper body turn intentionally. So I don't know which one will be better, just the hanging the hands here and then try to do this or just do this. You see, there's no reason to use your muscles that much. <laughs> you are catching your breath now. There's no reason to use the muscle that much. I can do this forever. Swing, swing, easy swing, because I'm using these big muscles here. And he is completely relaxed here. Swing, 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 let it go. Let's try this. Swing back and forth several times with arms and then throw the arms with good wind up at the end. So oh, as we swing back and forth, I will start the counting. So one, two, three, then wind up and then throw the arms. Okay. So shift the, shift the stand. E, relax your arms. No, 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 I will count. Relax your arms, relax your arms. Just to pay attention to uh, shift to stand, shift to stand, swing, swing, one, two, three, and throw, but throw actively <laughs> using the shoulder turn. Again, again, relax your arms, okay, swing. Hands together just like this. About this here. Swing, swing. Push it. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Swing, swing, swing. Make it faster, make it faster. Swing, relax. If you cannot go faster, that means that you are using these a lot. If you relax here and then just use the leg actions, then you can go a lot faster. Slower, faster. We can certainly do that, but if you use the upper body muscles here, you cannot go that fast. So again, try to match my tempo. 
Okay, let's go from here. Swing, swing, dance. Yes, relax and dance. One, two, three, and throw. Yes, that's it. Now it looks a lot more comfortable. <laughs> Again, on your own. I've used the kettlebells a bit. <laughs> yeah, but the, you tend to you tend to mm -hmm. activate your muscles too much, with no reason. So it's, it's called the core activation of the muscles. At every joint, we have muscles opposing to each other. But then when you co-activate these muscles, you are losing a lot of uh, energy there. Because one muscle action is uh, countered by the other muscle group, right? So as you get skillful, you get rid of a lot of co-activation and just to use the right muscle group at the right time point. There was, a, there was an instructor, he was famous way back in the day, and his name was Paul Berthelot. And he had a, and you will, I think you'll agree with this, he called it proper sequential motion. Yeah, so again. And that's what I'm not doing. <laughs> yeah, you are activating muscles too much, and then you have a lot of co-activation, so you're wasting your uh, energy. Yeah. So again, relax here. That, that was, the last one was good. So go here, swing, swing, one, two, three, and swing. Yeah, now give me that, that uh, on your own, without my help. <laughs> swing, swing, one, oh, no, 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 I will count. <laughs> no, no, I will count, so, uh, okay. Swing, 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 one, two, Three, and throw. But now, when I said three, and I kind of put the emphasis there, but your motion did not really reflect that. So you just, uh, just went this much. After three, when I say three, then what, me what it means is in the back swing, you have the good wind, and turn the shoulder enough, and then throw. Three means Bigger and better. Yes. Bigger yes, trigger. Yes, yes. <laughs> and then the, the bottom line is all in all, you have to generate good shoulder turn. Okay? Good shoulder turn. So particularly at the end, when you have good wind up, instead of using the arms like this, mm, turn the shoulder as much as possible. Okay? Again, dance, swing, swing. Swing, shift the stand, shift the stand, shift the stand, swing, swing, ah, it's getting slower because swing, swing, one, two, three, and yes, that short turn is really good, <laughs> that much, you can go a lot more than 90 degrees. But then, why are you not using that shoulder turn in your clips? I have enough time to program it. That's why. <laughs> so again. Too many decades of improper instruction. This is good. This is good. So, uh, so partic <laughs> particularly, if you want to increase the level of effort, instead of using the arms, rather increase the shoulder turn. When you use the body. Yeah. When you want to increase the level of effort, then just uh, increase the shoulder turn. Um, <clears throat> I wouldn't have given them that you 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah, always a, it's a what if, but uh, yeah, if, if you uh, encountered this approach, you know, 10 years ago, 20 years ago. <laughs> okay, again, uh, again, easy, easy stand, easy shift the stand, shift the stand with the relaxed upper body, dance. Now, now I can see that you're dancing. This is good. This is good. Swing. Swing. Ah, oh, here. When you do this, mm -hmm. still feel that the, the arms are hanging here. So instead of try to do this, mm -hmm. just to let it oscillate. Let's noodles. Yeah, let's just swing it instead of try to use your arms here. Okay. Like so, an elephant trunk. Mm, so when you try to do this, then you have to turn the shoulders increase, to increase the, the amplitude, right? If you use these arms here, without turning shoulder map that much, you can bring the arms up a lot higher. But instead, 
try to just to swing the arms instead of dropping like this. Okay? So with that, you have to increase the shoulder, shoulder turn. Again, swing, swing, swing. Good, use a good shoulder turn. Swing, swing, swing. One, two, three, and let it go. Uh, swing, yes. But still, even uh, when you just repeat the swing, try to have more shoulder turn. Shoulder turn here. The reason why we want to have this uh, rhythmic motion of the lower body is to have good shoulder turn. Shoulder turn here. Shoulder turn. And let it go. So for that, keep the shoulder plane a bit more upright. Currently, it's getting flatter. So you really need to bring the hands down here. Swing, swing, swing. Keep the palms forward, keep the palms forward. Swing, swing. One, good shoulder turn, two, three, and throw. So with this, what you need to feel is uh, this position. Swing. Swing this position instead of going, instead of anchoring the elbow here and try to turn this way a bit higher because this is the right hand position, right? So go here, here. Again, now I will record this. Okay, ready, go. Easy arms, relaxed arms. Bring the hands uh, down more. And then go high up and then down more. No, no, no. It's a flat. It's too flat. Again, again. Easy arms, relaxed arms. Bring the hands uh, down more. And then go high up and then down more. No, no, no. It's a flat. It's too flat. The hand goes uh, higher up here. And they come down here instead of when the hands are here. Is this correct? Have to form like, like this? No. Nope. Okay. Go up here, bring down the hands here. Mm -hmm. And then go up here. But what I'm saying is on the back swing, where do you. Now again, you are flexing these. Right. Shift the hand, stand on this side, and then let it go. Yeah. That's good. Mm. So here, try to keep the hands down closer. Because of your big uh, your biceps here, you, your elbow always uh, like this, and then you're anchoring here, but keep it straighter. And go a bit higher up here by using the stiffer shoulder plane, and then bring it down, and then go higher up. That's why I ask you to move the hands along the line. In order to actually move the hands along the line, you have to keep it Close, the clo the yeah, closer to your body, and then go a bit higher up. This way, you can move the hands along this line. There is always an intention for that, so you have to really generate that motion. Again, already from the beginning, your your posture here has to go more like this. Yeah, and then. But let me hold on. One, just, I'm just using this as a reference. Well. Um, so you is this good right here? Yeah. This is good. Yeah. So well, the hands are now on the line here. So about the back of our palms are about eight inches. Right so here. Try to move more up here. And here. Up here. Okay. Keep it uh, closer there. Yep. Ah, uh, <laughs> your hands passed there, but here, not here. So you have to consciously control this. Yeah, always move down and then bring up slightly. Yes, that's, that's better. That pattern is better. And then try to shift and stand, shift and stand, shift and stand, shift and stand. Everything will work together, good. Shift and stand. 
swing, swing, one, easy arms, two, three, and let it go. All muscles again, tight. Yeah. When it's getting used to that new position of mm. keeping my elbow, because I've been keeping my, it was wrong, keeping my elbows against my So body when you are in the disposition, it's easy to go. Here, your hands will stay here. Because when I was using the kettlebell, I was purposely. Yeah, then you anchor it, then uh, I, you turn this way instead of letting it go I like this. Mm. So your arm should uh, stay away from the body. So you should have, uh, you should use this uh, range, uh, this mobility. Okay? So instead of um, turning like this. Then you will be able to dance and then add arm motion here, add arm motion here, add arm motion here. Swing. Mm. 